Have you ever tried to have a conversation with someone and realized that you're getting nowhere? It turns out that this used to happen a lot before the OSI model came along. What is the OSI model? OSI stands for Open Systems Interconnection, and it is a conceptual model that describes how data is transmitted and received over a network. The OSI model was introduced in the mid-80s in order to allow electronic devices to communicate with one another. Things that we take for granted today, such as sending an email to someone across the world, were simply not possible before this model came along. The OSI model consists of seven layers, as can be seen on the screen. Each of these layers is responsible for a specific aspect of network communication. Notice that we have arrows pointing up and down. This is to illustrate that information can flow from the physical layer up to the application layer, and vice versa. Let us take a look at the first layer, the physical layer. This layer deals with the physical transmission of data over a network, such as the electrical, optical, or wireless signals that are used to send data. Think about getting ready for work in the morning. You put on your shirt, fasten your buttons, and these are physical objects that allow you to do one thing, which is get ready for work. In the same manner, network cables allow you to perform the task of sending data through a network. Layer 2. Data Link. This layer provides a reliable means of transmitting data over a physical link using techniques such as error detection and correction and flow control. You can view this layer as if you were sending a package to someone. You will need to label the package with the address of the person that is receiving the package. In the same way, data is sent and received between devices on a network using not mailing addresses, but MAC addresses. Layer 3. Network. This layer is responsible for routing data between different networks using protocols such as the Internet Protocol, or IP, and the Internet Control Message Protocol, or ICMP. Think of the network layer next time you use a GPS to navigate to a destination. A GPS system usually chooses the best route based on traffic and distance, which is similar to the network layer, which routes data between different networks using IP addresses. Layer 4. Transport. This layer provides reliable end-to-end -end delivery of data using protocols such as Transmission Control Protocol, or TCP, and User Datagram Protocol, or UDP. This is similar to commercial shipping, in which goods move from point A to point B. We can impose certain requirements, such as making sure that the goods are air-conditioned as they travel along. Layer 5. Session. This layer manages the communication between different applications, using techniques such as session establishment, maintenance, and termination. Recall the last time you had to enter a code on a keypad in order to enter a secure building? That security feature makes sure that only authorized personnel can enter the building. And it demonstrates how sessions are established and secured between applications using protocols such as SSL and TLS to secure communication over the internet. Layer 6. Presentation. This layer is responsible for the formatting and presentation of data, including encryption, compression, and conversion of data formats. Remember the last time you watched a late night movie over a streaming service? Before you could watch the video coming from your TV screen, the video needed to be compressed and encoded for transmission over the internet. Lastly, layer 7. Application. This is the layer that we're most familiar with, and it provides access to network services for applications, such as email, file transfer, web browsing, and social media, to name a few. The next time you compose an email to send to a friend, think of the application layer. Want an easy way to remember the OSI model? Yes! Well, here it is. This picture shows the seven layers with corresponding images to help you remember what each of the layers represents. And to help you remember them in order, you can think of pizza. Delicious! In this sentence, please do not throw sausage pizza away, where the P in please corresponds to the physical layer, and the A in away corresponds to the application layer. I hope you enjoyed learning about the OSI model. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these.